Tonight we're getting our first look at brand new poll numbers that show a surprising bit of information. There's some common ground between voters when it comes to birth control and abortion. New at 10, our Cuthbert Langley is breaking down the numbers for us. Cuthbert, what have you found? Corey, what we know right now is there seems to be some sort of agreement between voters when it comes to ways of bringing down the number of abortions performed in the state, at least according to a poll of 600 people by MTSU. In fact, 37% of people said that increased access to birth control and better sex education is the way to bring those numbers down. And 39% said birth control and tighter regulations are a stronger strategy. When you boil those numbers down, support for increased access to birth control appears to be spreading across the state. We are a conservative state, but we're also a very pragmatic state. State so Senator Stephen Dickerson is leading the charge to increase women's access to birth control. He's working on a bill that could potentially allow a pharmacist to write a prescription for oral contraceptives. When he saw that nearly half of all pregnancies in Tennessee are unplanned, the solution, he says, was easy. The real reception I'm getting is, is people slapping themselves on the forehead going, this seems really simple. I can't believe somebody didn't think of this before. And a new poll out Wednesday seems to show that many Tennesseans agree with the senator, a conclusion that did not surprise the Republican lawmaker. Intuitively, Tennesseans have come to the same conclusion that the medical experts have. There's a lot of work that needs to be done around um, sex education in the state. But Jeff Teague with Planned Parenthood says the volunteer state is still missing the mark especially when it comes to sex education, or what he claims is the lack of education. Unfortunately, a lot of parents think that that's what's happening in the schools, but it's not. It's uh, either not happening or it's just, again, it's abstinence-based education. Together with more thorough sex education and increased access to birth control, Teague is hopeful the high rate of unplanned pregnancies will decrease along with the number of abortions in the state. Anything that we can do to increase access to affordable, reliable contraception and any form of birth control is good for everyone. Senator Stephen Dickerson's birth control access bill is expected to be discussed in a few weeks. A similar bill on the House side is also being discussed. Rory.